welcome back to the Chicago Vlogs. So my fiance Josh and I took a little getaway weekend trip to Chicago. We want to do all the Chicago things, do all the Christmas things there are to do in Chicago. So I'm so excited to take you along for our day two adventures in Chicago. Now here's the funny story. I'm currently back at home editing the day two vlog and I realized I never made an intro video for today's video probably because we were running late that morning. So you know what? I'm just gonna do it right now. So I just wanna give you a little overview of what you can expect in today's vlog. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you to the Chicago River Architecture Cruise. It's like one of the number one things to do in Chicago. I'm so excited to show you guys that and give you all the details. And then later on in the video, we are going to the most extravagant Christmas bar you have ever seen. Like literally this place is insane. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let's go to Chicago. We start our second day in Chicago going on the 90 minute Chicago River architecture cruise with Wendella. Wendella was kind enough to gift us this experience, but I will be giving you my honest opinion about the tour. Now they recommend you arrive at least 30 minutes before your tour to check in and because seats are a first come first serve basis. You can purchase tickets in advance online, which I always recommend in case they're sold out the day of. We were a little early to our tour, so we went and grabbed a coffee nearby, and I stumbled upon this gorgeous Christmas tree, which I had to get a picture with. Once we boarded the boat, we decided to sit on the top deck because it has the best views. Our tour guide was John, and he was a hoot, cracking up jokes during the entire tour. Now, this tour shows you so much of Chicago. I mean, we went everywhere on this boat. They talk about the Great Chicago Fire of 1871 that practically wiped out the city's buildings and how that gave a blank canvas for architects to build Chicago's beautiful skyline that we see today. It was so fascinating to hear about the backstory and why Chicago's architecture is so inspiring. Now we did take this tour at the end of November, but we honestly weren't too cold sitting on the top deck. We brought hand warmers and I think that helped a lot. So I definitely recommend that if you're going on a chilly day. And there is a cabin on the lower deck that is enclosed and heated and they serve drinks down there and snacks as well. Josh and I thoroughly enjoyed this experience because you learned so much about the city and facts about buildings that we wouldn't have known otherwise. I would even say that this is a tour you could take multiple times because of how unique it was. I definitely would love to come back again during a different season like the summer and fall and experience it. And I can totally see that each tour guide has their own facts and own storytelling and so you kind of get a different experience each time you go. After the tour, it was time for lunch. Now very close by is this restaurant Luminati's that serves a classic Chicago style pizza. We made a reservation here, which I cannot recommend more because of how busy it was. Josh and I split two pizzas and our favorite was definitely the Lou. We would totally eat here again. Then once we finished up lunch, we walked to the Starbucks Reserve, which is one of the largest Starbucks in the world. Guys, this place is five levels. Each level has something unique to offer like pastries or a cocktail bar. Now we didn't spend a whole lot of time in here just because it was really, really busy, but we were happy that we checked it out. If you are planning to enjoy a cup of coffee here, just make sure you schedule time for your visit because everything here had a line. I really bet the Art of Espresso Martini experience would be so cool to check out. I also wonder if it's not too busy here on the weekday. If you know, definitely let me know down in the comments. So the Starbucks Reserve is on Michigan Ave, which is a fantastic shopping district. So that's what Josh and I did next. We walked around and checked out a lot of the stores here. One of our favorites was Nordstrom's because of how beautifully decorated it was for Christmas. I also picked up a Chicago ornament for our tree while we were out shopping. Also, if you love Apple, I highly recommend checking out the Apple store here. It is floor to ceiling glass walls and it is so cool. They actually pointed it out on our tour. Hey guys, so we are back in the hotel room after our day out in Chicago. We're getting ready to go to the Christmas bar tonight, if you can't tell by my outfit. But before we leave, I thought I'd give you a little room tour. So the hotel we're staying at is the Hyatt-centric hotel in the Loop. Um, so this is a king-size bedroom. So here's the bed. It was, It is a little low, which I kind of thought was weird at first, but you don't really notice it. And the bed is pretty comfortable too. You got two bedside tables like a little table and a chair there, a suitcase rack. We have a TV here, some storage here, and an ottoman. 
And then I really love over here, we have a full length mirror, which I feel like sometimes hotel rooms don't have, but you need it, right? So I love that there, that's here. Right in here, there's like just a little coffee and um, water bottle station and also a mini fridge, which is really nice. And then moving over here, we have our closet space and it's a pretty big closet and the light goes on automatic, which is pretty nice. You got an ironing board, iron, safe, plenty of hangers and just like nice cubby space. And then moving in here, you have the bathroom, which you can block off with this sort of like barn door deal. And then in the bathroom, you have just one sink, but pretty good counter space. And then you have room down here where we've been like storing our stuff. And then in here you have the toilet and then the shower. And even though it is like a walk-in shower, the water doesn't really like get on the floor, which is nice. And the shower head, do shower head does have good pressure. So all in all, this has been a really great room and we've really liked the location. We've been like able to walk everywhere we wanted to go. So highly, highly recommend this hotel. It's been really nice. Um, I guess the only downfall is they only have valet parking and it's $75 a day. So, I mean, parking's gonna be kind of expensive anywhere in Chicago, but they only have valet and it's kind of on the higher side, but we like the location. We're like, you know, we'll just pay the 75 for that um, because we like this location. And like I said, we've been able to walk everywhere. So it's been super, super nice. And now we're gonna go to the Christmas bar. Welcome to the Santa Baby Bar. Now, first thing I wanna tell you is that this bar is located in Wrigley, which is about a 20 minute drive from downtown. I found this place on Instagram and it just looks so fun and that's why we really wanted to check it out. Now they do take reservations, which is always a bonus and definitely recommend because there's a lot of people waiting like a two hour wait or something crazy like that. But first impressions of this place is that it's definitely a place to party. The food was your average bar food and drinks had fun holiday themes, but you're definitely not going here for like amazing food or amazing cocktails. There were a lot of people here in groups dressed up in Christmas attire, which was so fun. It honestly blew us away how insanely decorated this place was. I mean, there was so, so much detail all around and so many photo opportunities. Hey guys, so we are back from the Christmas bar and I want to give you a whole recap on our day in Chicago here. I was just telling Josh, we haven't even been in Chicago for two full days and I feel like I've been here a week, like so much has happened. So I wanted to give you a recap on today. So starting things off with the Boat River architecture tour with Wendella, that was phenomenal. I loved it so, so much. I think that's like the number one thing I would recommend to do if you're coming to Chicago. Um, it was about a 90 minute boat tour and it's November, so it was chilly. And I would say though, like it wasn't that bad. Um, we definitely got cold at the end, I think, because we weren't moving around so much, but they give you like breaks and they like encourage you to get up and walk around. And there's um, a bar underneath uh, that's heated. So like if you're like absolutely cold freezing, you can go down there and you can still hear the tour, um, but you can be inside and definitely warm up. So that was a huge highlight for us. And then right after that, we went to go get some Chicago deep dish pizza, which was so good. The restaurant was like right next to the boat tour, which was awesome. The only thing I'll say about the restaurant though, is we did have a reservation and we were early, but like the check-in process was kind of odd. Like we checked in one area and then they're like, yeah, you can go downstairs and like check in again. Like we'll let you know, or we'll let them know that you're here, but it doesn't mean your table's gonna be ready. And we still ended up waiting like a super long time. And then I got a notification on my phone that says like, well, you should put your pizza order in because those deep dish pizzas take longer to make than like a regular pizza. So I don't know, I feel like just like the communication on that wasn't great, um, but we ended up getting our pizza and it was so good. So I really liked that. I think we got, I think it was called the Lou, which was like the signature pizza to get there, um, but it was so, so good. But I feel like just like know that ahead of time that you can put your pizza order in before you actually sit down. So that way you can kind of save some time there. And then after pizza, we just walked around, we checked out the Starbucks, reserve roastery which is like one of the biggest starbucks in the world um actually we didn't have to wait that long to get in so when i was looking up online it said you might have to wait anywhere from a half hour to an hour even to get into the starbucks but we waited not even five minutes there was a line but it was moving pretty fast and then like each level was like different things like there was like like a pastries level so like where you would get food 
and then there was a bar at the very top and it was really really cool but it was very busy like we didn't want to sit there and get drinks or anything we just kind of wanted to check it out but if you want to get drinks there just know like you're gonna to need to schedule some time in for that because there was lines everywhere and like there's definitely a wait to get drinks and get food but it was super super cool experience and so yeah then we were just walking along Michigan Ave which was all the shops and again it's Black Friday weekend so everyone was out shopping and we popped into a few stores the Nordstrom's was really cool we like walked in there and it was a huge mall almost like like it was so cool in there um, so yeah, we did a little bit of shopping. I got my Chicago style popcorn. I love popcorn, so I had to get that at Garrett's. That was so good. And then we just came back to the hotel just to chill. Um, it just had been a really long day, really early morning, so we just chilled. We watched a couple of Christmas movies or like the ones that were on TV to kind of get into the mood for the Christmas bar. And then we got ready to go down or go up to the Christmas bar. So this bar was called Santa Baby Santa Baby Bar and it was actually in Wrigley so it was about a 20 minute drive from our hotel it wasn't that bad at all and we found parking pretty quickly but that like area was like bar central like I swear all the bars were like Christmas themed it was really cool we did get a reservation for Santa Baby so if you want to do that I definitely recommend getting a reservation otherwise it was a really long wait um, but what I will say about that experience it was definitely like a bar. Like we did get food. I was I knew that like the food wasn't gonna change my life, but it was definitely just like bar food. We got a huge pretzel and some nachos, and the drinks were just like fun drinks. So you're really like there for the atmosphere, and the atmosphere is insane. It's like multiple levels. It is head to toe Christmas. There's so much detail, and I asked our our waitress like how long it takes them to get this set up, and I think she said like maybe two weeks they even have like a haunted house before the christmas bar goes up so like this place like knows how to decorate it was so so cool um but it was definitely like an atmosphere where you want to bring like a group of friends and just like drink and take pictures there's so many photo spots so it was super super cool um i'm so glad we did it and like i said that place like that whole strip on that street there were so many different christmas bars so like that'd be a really fun place to bar hop um, so just like kind of keep that in mind, but yeah, that is our time in Chicago. Like it's, it's been not that long, but I feel like we've done so much. I hope you guys enjoyed these vlogs. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming adventures. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. You cut me loose and send me free.